come on. Move it, Cinder. Wait a second. That's cool. Kind of reminds me of how the there's a I don't know if you ever heard of the series called Cameo, um, but that that series had a there was supposed to be a Cameo too, and um, the sequel is supposed to be darker and gritty. Or it's supposed to be darker and gritty. It's supposed to take place in the future, and a lot of similarities there. Have you ever heard of the Cameo series? Well, not series, but Cameo. section. I don't remember having this many this much problems with it though. Follow me. Um well if you like 3D platformers in general, uh you could always give cameo elements of power a, a try. It's it was one of the Xbox 360 launch games. It's developed by Rare, and uh, it's a really fun. It's a really fun game. Um, you play as this. Uh, I think she's like a like a princess. And um, yeah, she's a she's. But she has the ability to transform into different um, creatures that ha all have different abilities. Really interesting. But, um... It's part of Rare Replay. Which is pretty cool. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, he won't even go up. See if this makes any difference. He just won't fly up. I think I'm just supposed to just jump. Ah. That's that's what you're supposed to do. I was trying to fly. That's why. The difference it makes when you know exactly <laughs> when you're doing it completely wrong. We must be getting close. Here, this way. This leads to the surface. Okay. 
yeah, anyways, Cameo is, a uh, it's a part of the Rare Replay, um, com compilation, well, Rare, it's part of Rare Replay, which is a compilation that was re released on the Xbox One, uh, of 30 of, uh, 30 games developed by Rare, uh, throughout the years. It's a really good collection. If you like, uh, if you like classic games, or, um, if you like anything that's developed by Rare. Yeah, Banjo Kazooie is great. Hey, look out. Do you have an Xbox One by chance? to the surface it's okay. best we remain the horn it must be part of some sort of locking mechanism honestly why not just a lock and key like normal folks look around there must be something we can use to lower it I haven't played my. I haven't. Pl I have a Wii as well. Uh, let me see. I, I don't. I used to PC game a lot. I haven't done that for a while. I have a 3DS. I have a Wii. Uh, 360 and an Xbox One or what I mostly play. I used to. I grew up with Nintendo, but I don't know. I haven't really liked their hardware since the GameCube. I still got my Super Nintendo as well. <laughs> I don't have my original NES. I got rid of that a long time ago, but... Okay, 450 Grublins killed. Alright, so that leaves 200 orcs, 10 trolls, 45 wyverns, 1,000 kills. And... Yep. And then also you still need to get elemental kills. And it still need to keep launching fury attacks. Nah, that sucks. Hmm. 
My turn. Spyro, hurry up and open this door. Hurry up and open the door! Open, open, open! This way. Yeah, I agree. This game has a really good soundtrack. All right, here we go. I wonder why, even though it's Spyro, it defaults to showing Cinder's health and mana. It's like, that's cool and all, but, you know, I don't care to see Cinder's health and mana if I'm playing a Spyro. I mean, like, it... So, like, Spyro's health and mana disappears even though if I'm playing a Spyro. Just makes no sense to me. Minor... I mean, it's a minor nuisance, but still. I just noticed all little weird things. I 
get some more mana. Yeah, look at this. I'm playing a Spyro, and it just shows Cinder's health and mana showing up at the top. It's like, why is that? <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't think you can die, though, if you're not selecting them, but I don't know. I haven't really noticed. I don't think you can. So now it's showing Spyro. They found us. Close to 75 electric kills. Cinder, stop taking all my kills. Uh-uh. No, um... No, I just beat the game for the first time a little earlier. I'll wait for you at the top of the cliff. No, right now I'm just going back through and kind of cleaning up the remaining achievements in this game. Did you get 100%. 